Okay, so let's get started. First thing that we need to do is work on this neck um, where we're gonna make it round instead of square. I have got the bodice front center and the bodice back center of the April. We are gonna start with these and then we'll have to move to the lining after that because whatever you do to one, you have to do to the other. But we'll start with these. And what I've gone ahead and done already is I have traced them just onto another piece of paper. Now there are two ways to go about this. One way is to get a pattern that already has a round neck that you like and just lay it over the top. So you could do that with this. This is my center of my April. This is the regular Harper bodice. You could, um, you know, line these up and then draw this curve onto here. Use that as your neck and that would work just fine. You would have to do the same thing for the back bodice piece. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is go ahead and trace them and get a handy cup. Just any kind of round edge that you can put. I lined it up right here with this corner and then just about halfway in between on the neck and just follow the line with my pencil and made a curve here. Then when I go and cut this out, this will be my outside edge and there I have a round neck in the front. Same thing on the back. I have just lined up that cup. This is actually a small size solo cup that I'm using. I think you could use, you know, another size cup if you wanted. So now what I've done is I'm, whenever I go to cut these out, I'm just gonna cut around this curve and that's gonna take the square part out of the neck for the back and the front. And then I'm gonna need to do the same thing for my um, lining pieces. Um, so same type of curve, this would be my back lining piece and I'm gonna do the same curve on the back for it. This is my front lining piece rather. And then this is my back. So if you want to make your neck round, go ahead and make some new pattern pieces for that. 